Hi guys. Um, sorry if I keep looking up to the side. I'm just staring at myself in the viewfinder. Okay, so today is Monday, September 21st. And tomorrow morning I'm supposed to take my driver's test at 11 a.m. I'm very nervous. <laughs> um, it is a modified closed circuit test. So I'm only being tested on like parking and like reversing and like everything you can do in like a parking lot basically. So um, that's all I have to know. So basically at the start of like lockdown, I was supposed to take my test um, at the end of March and that is um, exactly when like my um, count, my state had a stay at home order. So um, my driver's test ended up getting canceled and I was obviously very sad. Um, at the end of April, my governor put out a bill saying that all teenagers over the age of 16 were allowed to um, get a driver's license without taking the test. They could just like apply for one. If you had like a permit for more than a year, you're allowed to apply for one and they would just send it to you. And so that's what I did and obviously they sent it to me. And so I was using that one for about like the good three months. At the end of May, early June, I think, he issued another bill saying that all teenagers who got a license because of the previous bill now to go back in and take the road test to keep the license otherwise um you and they'd have you have to do it by like september 30th or um the license would be taken away so i ended up pushing like taking it for the longest time i don't even know why and i by the time I checked, like late July, I ended up not even finding an appointment until like September 22nd, tomorrow morning. And so it's like eight days away from the actual deadline. So if I don't pass tomorrow, I'm gonna lose my license. So I'm very nervous. I wanna get it the first try. I don't wanna take it multiple times. So I'm very nervous about that. And that is all. I'm really just doing this because I'm like super, super nervous. Um, like so badly nervous and I can't fully say why um, and I just kind of want to take y'all along with me on the process because it kind of just helps me to like film um, me get up going through the steps you know making sure I'm doing everything correctly so um, I have my appointment for tomorrow morning I've been practicing for the last couple of days and it's been pretty well, it's been going pretty well, so I think I'll do okay. Um, yeah. And then so at tonight before I go to bed, I'm going to put like a little folder of my papers. I, I honestly probably won't need anything, I really just need, I know that they give you like a huge list of um, papers that you need to bring in to make the, as like a requirement, but honestly, I doubt the DMV cares. They'd probably just be like, bring in your insurance and like your driver's ed certificate and you'll be good. And we're like, great. So, but I'm just gonna put um, a folder of everything I need together anyway, because the last time I went and took my test, um, I like forgot half the stuff I needed and then I had to end up calling my dad and be like, can you go grab my stuff for me so that I can go take the test, like the learner, like the, written test so I can get my permit. So also because this time um, my dad, like both my parents are coming with me so there's no one that can like just go grab stuff. Also, I'm not taking out the usual DMV location like the one that's closest to my house where they could go and grab it. I'm taking what it's like about an hour away from my house because when I checked for appointments, I this was the closest location with uh, the earliest available appointment that I could find. So this is that's how I'm taking it. So I guess I'll see you guys tonight when I'm putting my stuff together. I'm not gonna show you anything. I'm just gonna show you the folder once it's done, and then I'll see you tomorrow morning. And then I'll just like tell you how it went as soon as I get back. So that is all.
Hey guys, I actually forgot to mention this earlier, but um, I had forgotten to get a certificate of school enrollment form from my school because I'm a virtual student. I only go in every other day for about two hours and it just completely like never crossed my mind to go grab one before I had to take the test. And that week I was also on a school break from my school, so I couldn't have grabbed one on Monday, um, which was kind of a problem. I didn't know if I would need it or not. But, um, turns out I didn't need it. They didn't ask for it, so that was, uh, I got really lucky. Usually they are very strict about that kind of stuff. Um, but I did bring, like, a transcript, my transcript, just in case they did ask for it. So, yeah. Alrighty, hi, hello. It is currently 10.50. Um, it is still the night before. It's still Monday night. Um, I'm less freaked out now feel a little bit better turns out one of my friends had actually already taken the test and she didn't tell me so um right now i'm putting together um a little folder um of all the documents i need to turn in when i take my test because i know that they have like a lot okay so i put everything in this like little folder thing my like manila folder and it's all good to go i made like a little checklist of the stuff they sent me and it's all in there so I feel good. I feel a little more confident now. So now paper clipped together. Here is my folder. My name on it. My atrocious handwriting. Alright, so we're all good to go. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning when I'm about to go take my test. Hello, good morning. Um it is Tuesday morning, finally, I'm taking my test today. It's 8.10, I don't know if you can see my phone. Is that focusing? Whatever. Um, it's 8.10. <sighs> I actually woke up around like five o'clock this morning because I can't sleep when I'm nervous and I was extremely nervous. I've been on my phone all morning just because um, I'm scrolling through social media always helps me just like calm down a little and I feel like that's like a bad thing, but you know, it just works for me, so um, I'm not, usually when I'm nervous, I just kind of try to stay off my phone and just like do other stuff, but I don't know. Um, so I'm going to go get ready. Um, I'm going to go shower, um, and then I'm going to do my hair, and, uh, and then we're going to be good to go. I'm on hold with the DMV, and I'm calling them about my uh, DS1 form, so I'll get back to you about that. But this is what I'm wearing. You can't see it very well. I only see the top half in the picture anyway. It's just like a cardigan and then shirt and some jewelry and then jeans. Honestly, I'm so nervous. I don't even want to think right now. It is actually 2.31. I got home around 12.45 slash uh, 12.45 around 1ish. Um, what happened was I got there, I gave her, like the lady at the front desk, I gave her all of the, my giant folder full of stuff. I actually didn't need to have that stuff on my list, but whatever, it's fine. She gave me a ticket and then I had to wait like a good 40 minutes 
just sitting there waiting for them to call me so that I could go take my test. So like take your car, drive to the back, and just wait there for the instructor to come out. Once uh, they come out, um, they'll tell you what to do. So that's what I did. I drove my car to the back. So that instructor took forever to get, come outside. Um, she came outside finally, and uh, she told me what to do. She told me to go, and uh, I pretty much did everything okay. The only thing I like really messed up on was when I was doing my parallel parking. Um, I didn't really like hit a cone. I don't think I hit a cone. I couldn't tell. But when I was like backing out, I ended up running over a cone. So like when she like she was like, oh, go do the next thing. I had to back out and I um, and I hit the uh, cone. I don't think she noticed, so I'm hoping she didn't notice. It's probably um, maybe a good thing if she didn't notice. So she, so I ended up passing with an 83. So she was honestly really lenient. So that was all. My the test overall was like pretty easy. It finished in like less than 20 minutes. Like I was, it was done. I was out of there. I passed, and she was like, "You can go." There you go. Thank you. Alright, so I forgot to do the outro and I'm back now. Um, if you guys watched up until this point, thank you so much. If you want a little more of a detailed explanation of what they asked me in the test, I'll include a description in the um, description box below. I, I don't really want to like rant and make this video longer than it needs to be. I already know that I'm going to be cutting out so much. <laughs> so. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you've made it this far, um, comment a cone emoji down below. Um, make sure to like and subscribe and stay tuned for my next video. Thank you.